Exclamation, everybody, and welcome back to Mars Horizon. Um, it's been a week I played. I, yeah, it's been a week. Uh, I don't quite remember what we did. Um, so, so you completed multi crew orbit. Oh, that's what we were working on. We're working towards the multi crew orbit. Uh, because we need to get at least second place in, uh, something in order to get the in order to meet the challenge and get some extra extra money uh we've got the mars flyby it's going to complete in five months each shield analysis we don't have enough money for yet um but that will be constructing an actual rocket and the rocket for the astronaut recovery test will be done in three months so that's good we got all that stuff going on. Uh, Base-wise, we we'll have to build the vehicle assembly building, which is 750k. It's going to be probably a lot more than that because we're going to have to clear some room out for it. So that's kind of why I'm banking on doing some of these missions to get the uh, get the um, the money to build stuff, build that vehicle re vehicle assembly building. Um, research wise, we're working on getting to, so we, we have the multi crew orbit mission. I don't think we have all of the prerequisites yet for it, but, uh, yeah, cause we're going for the Gemini payload, um, which is part of the orbit. Um, and then there's the next, that opens up the next mission, which is orbital EVA. So once this payload is done, we'll be able to start. To work towards us now i think um i don't think it's gonna let me see it i can't plan it yet but we'll have to see what other research is involved with that i have a feeling there's going to be like i have a feeling we're going to need the vehicle assembly building for it possibly even well, i don't maybe not the large launch pad but maybe we will because we'll have multiple people so we might need that even um, vehicle wise, we'll probably need some more boosters, I imagine. So we'll see additional contractors there. Um, did I get, did I do the contractor thing already? I think I did, right? I finished the contractor. Um, research? I'm pretty sure I did. Just can't find it right now. Um, optimized assembly is another good one to have here. But uh, so we got advanced demolition, then we got space science library. Um, but that's ways off. Vehicle wise, it would be nice to get additional contractors. Oh yeah, unlock contractors. We did that. That's good. Um, but we need uh, six more of these things researched, which is basically everything, right? One, two, four, six. Yeah, that's basically everything um, for this era. Mars and beyond. Okay. All right. So that's where we're at right now. Um, we're still researching the Gemini probe. I think. You think here. Um, my what am I? I think I'm trying to mull about in my brain here. Um, When does the vehicle assembly building come into play, I wonder? I guess it comes into play whenever you want it to, because it looks like it just does a minus 10% vehicle build time. But, so I guess it's not required for anything yet. I mean, it should be required when we go to like shuttle stuff, I would think, but Maybe maybe not. Maybe it's just it's just an extra bonus thing. I don't know. 
Um, anyway, when's our, our funding comes up for review in five months? We're at tier seven. We need a lot more attaboys to get to tier eight. Uh, oh, actually, no, we're at tier eight. Now. Um, according to that, or is, are we going into tier eight? I think we're in, I think we're into tier eight. It's just we haven't, uh, or maybe that's progress to tier eight. I forget whether that's progress to tier eight. I mean, it says tier seven here, so maybe that's progress to tier eight uh, that we're seeing there. So we're not quite there yet. Um, all right, let's do next month. Right, the ESA is getting into lunar orbit there. Uh, don't have enough money for for that yet. So I'm just kind of moving forward one month at a time until we get build up our cash here. Uh, enough. <laughs> All right, next month. The so astronaut recovery test vehicle is complete. Uh, launch reliability is 89 percent. All right. Let's see what we're going to do there. We need crew of one. Um, his recovery is like six months or something. I don't know if I should use them or bring another one. Port reward goes up by 10%. Could use that. I mean, if I put a celebrity up there, launch reliability, increased retirement. Age. Hmm. Okay. Um. A lot of celebrities. A lot of celebrities. Um, were you 23 and you'd be retiring at 47, you're 34 and be retiring at 46, you're only 12k salary, plus 120k to, to hire you, you're 11k, um... I feel like getting an additional support reward. To, uh, is this one? What is the reward for this? 750, so it would be an additional 10%, so it would be an additional 75. I think it's up to 825. No, 8... Uh, 45, right? Um, eight to, no, eight twenty-five. I don't. What am I doing? Um, that would be good, but it wouldn't be a slam dunk. You get a lot of science, though. I mean, really, I need money more than I need science at the moment. Um, hmm. And I still need some money to, to build that other thing as well. Let's hmm. Yeah, now's not the time to hire somebody, I don't think. Let's just go with who we've already got. 
Uh, I'm training. Um, what's our payload reliability? 81. Yeah, all right. Let's bring up some science then. The launch date. We're getting like 2.5% there. Additional. Yeah, let's just get this out of the pipeline as fast as we can, I think. I think that is the plan. All right, and then uh, this one, let's build that vehicle. Because we still, that's going to take six months to build. All right, so uh, next event. All right, astronaut recovery tests. 1,508 science we'll get for it, hopefully. All the percentages are high, so it might be good there. Looks like we might have a nice day to launch, too. Okay, plus 4%. That's good. All right, let's let's do it. Five, four, three, two, one. We have lift off. We almost had a an extra bonus positive event. Oh, cool! Our booster in upper stage gets a little bit more reliable, so that's that's always good. Uh, auto resolve, seven percent success, and twenty nine percent outstanding success. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Auto resolve it. She's got a normal success for it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, 377 science for four months. We get. And yeah, he's going to take six months to recuperate, but that's fine. Japan's launching Mars flyby in six months. Oh, boy. A complete astronaut recovery test. And yeah, Mars flyby in six months. Which we're still trying to get up off, trying to get off the ground. It's going to take us six months just to build the damn rocket for it, right? So that's going to be a thing. All right. And then our funding is coming up for review. So we're almost, we've almost uh, researched all of the Gemini capsule. All right. Budget review. There we go. Okay. Still tier seven. That's fine. So 263K per month. Gemini research complete. And our Mars flyby vehicle is complete. All right, 65% launch reliability. Let's see if we can get that launch reliability up a bit. Elite Gamer, uh, no, I don't, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. So that is probably one of the oddest questions I've been asked. <laughs> so kudos. <laughs> um, unless you unless you want them uh, vacuum sealed from space. Uh, launch date. So what do I want to do here? I think, oh man, we can't go for a while, can we? 
Well, that'll get our reliability up to 12%, so that's probably good. <laughs> uh, it's, it's good to have goals, <laughs> Elite. Good to have goals. It's one of the more mundane goals, but it's a good goal, nonetheless. Alright, so, uh, yeah, let's confirm that. Alright, and then... I have a mission slot available. Uh, missions. I think I have a mission slot available. Why won't it let me... Huh. Alright, you too. Have, have a good night as well. Uh, research. What do I want to research next? I guess I want to research more vehicle. I suspect. But I want to see why. Why won't it let me select this mission slot? Do I have a mission slot available? What is going on here? Um, that's strange. Like here's the Mars flyby. Vehicle is getting prepared. And I have a mission slot available, but it won't let me collect anything. That's really strange um i guess since i don't know what the next mission i'm gonna do is gonna be i guess we'll get another upper stage going what's that um we had a saturn 4b maybe yeah see this requires a large launch pad what is that one Are these uh, medium? I can't tell. Doesn't say. I guess it doesn't. I guess they're medium. This one's medium for a Titan. Hmm. Okay. All right. Let's get. I guess we'll just start research on that. I don't know what's going on there. And why I can't click this other slot. That might be a problem. Um, go one month ahead. Oh, duh, I know why. I need to click on the actual plant. Oops, it's been a while. It's been a while, friends. It's been a while. Uh, I need to click on the plant to get the mission. Duh. Um, I just killed a month there doing it. Solar Observatory. Uh, how about milestones here? With the crew orbit, we could be third. Assuming China succeeds. Um, we need second or above in milestone missions. So that kind of sucks. Might as well do it. Let's get out of, out of the way here. Payload. Uh, we'll do the standard Gemini capsule. Where are some of the recommended parts? I think we have most of them except for these, but that's fine. Um, okay. Uh, build it. 504k. Really should get that vehicle assembly building if we can at some point, but whatever. Um, that'll be complete in four months. Capsule will, and then the, and then we have to still have to build the thing. Um, this research will be done pretty quickly. I think what I'm going to do next is get the 
orbital EVA. Um, mission. And then uh, I have no idea. I suspect it will need the Mariner 8 payload. I don't know. I don't know if that needs the Mariner 8 payload or not. I Maybe not. It was just an orbital EVA, right? So... Takes two... 3500 science to do. Yeah, I think I'm going to research this next and see if I can get a heads up... A leg up on orbital EVA. We'll, we'll see if that's even a thing. Um, what about the moon here? I have not done anything... The lunar orbit I've done. Still could move towards the crude moon landing, but that is I need to I need all the research for that. We are getting some of the boosters for it though. So that's good. Um do we need anything over here? No. No, okay, and now we need the Apollo. Yeah, which is way down here. So it's like we, we need to get through the Mariner 8 payload. Which means we'll need to, you know, research one of these as well, like Mars orbit and stuff. So that we can get down to here and start doing the Apollo thing. So we're still quite a ways away. Which kind of sucks because I feel like that's where we could slam dunk it. But, um... Not gonna happen. <laughs> Moon micrometeorites challenging. Uh, launching a lunar orbiting mission to record the distribution of micrometeorites. It's ambitious. Third level mission difficulty. These missions are likely to include special resources such as rust or heat, and will sometimes take place over multiple days. Okay. I mean, I could. Minus one command in each turn. Oof. Uh, and it's only it only gives me 313 support. Funding support. And the science isn't really that great either. I'm not sure about that one. Um, yeah, let's do next month. Saturn rockets. Research complete. All right, let's get back over to here. And let's, uh, that's 3,500. Um, do the orbital EVA research first, and then we'll have to go down here and try to get the payload, the Mariner payload stuff. Uh, I think we're good there. Do next event. Pan completed Venus Impactor. Oof. Oof. Uh, okay, we're at 79% on this one. Our Mars flyby. So this, oh, we might get second place on this, but it's not, uh, it's not a milestone mission, I don't think. Or maybe it is. I don't know. 96 to 77%. Go for it. <laughs> the old cheapo rockets. Okay, we're up to seventy nine per cent. Well, let's do it. That's 17% negative event, though. But uh, we'll have to try for it. Five, four, three, two, one. We have lift off. So far, so good. Ooh, very nice. Almost had a positive event come out of it. 
Ooh, our booster is going, getting more reliable. Our upper stage too. All right. All right, Mars flyby. Enter Mars transfer orbit. Collect five navigation and five rust. And your thrust will be reduced by minus one at the start of the next turn. Ooh, so we're getting like a decaying orbit. That's not great. Um, and we need 10 for the bonus, but five for the regular object. Hmm. We have five power to work with. So what does... So two data would get me three navigation and a comm. Which would get me four data, which will allow me to get even more of that. Okay, let's try this, this, and that. So we'll end up with two data, um, or four data, and two navigation. And I can use that four data next time around to get the six navigation. Um, and the two communication will give me an additional navigation and four burn. So I think that will work. Oof. We really failed that one. Resist. Ooh, bonus. I'll take a bonus. 97%. Ooh, we got an additional data. All right. 8% on that. All right, so we get my, so I guess even though I'll get like four thrust, I'll get a minus one thrust every turn. So I have to really manage that. Um, all right, so we have five data, which is even better than what we expected. Um, so we can do... I can do this one, ground control transmission, will give me the two that I need and two navigation. <clears throat> so let's do that. And we can do this. That gives me the five navigation we need for the main objective. Um, <clears throat> and that'll give me four thrust, which will go down to three thrust. And then let's recharge. All right. Four percent. That's why I recharged. Because <laughs> I had a feeling one of these would not succeed. We have three thrusts now. We have two turns. I don't think there's a way I'm going to get the bonus reward. Um, it would be really, really lucky to get the bonus reward. Right now, I, I want to hit the objective, at least. Um, so we have three data.
which means I can do this again, the ground control transmission, which will give me two more navigation and two more comms. Pump the two comms into here, give me a four more burn, which will give me the objective. Um, and then uh, do another recharge, right? Yeah, because we'll be enough at that point. Even if we were to stop there with the one minus one from the next turn, we'll still ha have the objective. So, is that what I want to do? I think so. Do that. Do that. Do that. I'm playing a little bit conservative. Because I really want these to succeed. That's good. Alright, that's also good. Okay. All right, so we've hit the objective. Um, in theory, I could hit the bonus reward on the thrust. No, because it's going to... It's, well, no, actually, it doesn't have a minus one thrust after it, so I could theoretically hit that. Um... Let's try it. I mean, why not? Do that. We'll do that. Um, and... This would be shaving close. I mean, basically I won't have any... I won't have any to be able to resist. So... Which is fine, because we're, we're going to hit the objective regardless. So... Guess we're gonna have to try it. We're gonna have to try it. Um, that one data. That one data gives me four. Does that help me? No, not really. Go for it. Go for broke. We need all successes here. What we need. Or better. Successes are better. There we go. Oh, it just squeaked in there. Nice. Did it. We went for broke and we got the bonus. There it is. That was only part one, though. We still have another. We have a, we have a second phase to do. go. That's fine. We got bonus rewards, and the second phase will be in eight months. So there we go. Cool. Cool. I say. All right. So we have a slot for active missions. What do we want to do? We want to get. I would like to get some money. Money would be nice. The heat shield analysis would be really good. Um, anything else here? Uh, multi crew orbit, orbital EVA. The multi crew orbit. We would be third. Because China is about to launch. Assuming they succeed, which they probably will. That won't go towards our our challenge, but our challenge has 75 months before it expires, so I'm not too upset about that, but it is. Oh, we already have it in the planning state, so that's, yeah. Yeah, we already have it in the planning stage, okay. Um, so we'll see on that one. 
I guess let's get let's do the heat shield analysis because it'll give me a bunch of money. Uh, find astronaut to do it. We'll sign her. Oop! I keep doing that. Sign. There we go. <laughs> They need to put that assign button somewhere else because it, it doesn't stand or make it stand out some because it doesn't stand out enough. Um, <laughs> my hair is making noises here. Um, raining. What did we need on this one? So we got 76% payload reliability and launch reliability. I think the payload reliability we're going to want to train up on. Let's do that. What's the launch date? Um, eighty-two percent is what our launch will be. Where our payload be? Three percent more. So that would get us to what? Doesn't actually stay. What it would get us to? It was 76, right? So I gave us like 79. So maybe go in July. Let's pluck that. All right, what was our payload? That will get us to 82%. Okay. Same as our launch rival. That's probably good. Confirm that. Good, and that's our heat shield analysis stuff, right? Okay, awesome. Um, all right, so I need nine hundred. Was it seven hundred fifty k for the vehicle assembly building? I want to get that down as soon as we can. Um, I'm not sure where the best place to put it would be. So I, I was like thinking to myself, maybe I should remove some obstructions now, but I'm not sure where it's, I assume the vehicle assembly building would be best next to the aircraft, to, the spacecraft assembly facility. So maybe on this side here, those obstructions aren't that bad, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, and Gemini's capsule is going to be complete next month. No effect. 71% reliability. Okay. I don't have a design we can use. Okay, uh, upper stage. What are we going to do here? What is this one? 45% reliability. Upper stage can hold up to 4,000 kilograms. 45,000 there. That's. Why is that? I don't get that. So the Saturn rocket can hold up to 45, the upper stage can hold up to 45,000 kilograms, right? Um, it costs 450k to, to make. This one that only supports 4,000 kilograms costs 1215k to make and one less month. Like what the frig? And this one has less launch reliability. Obviously because it's cheaper, but still, like... I guess we'll do this one because I want to get... I'm going to need this for... Rude stuff, eventually, I think. Right? Or for the moon? No. Yeah, maybe. For moon stuff, maybe? So this will get it some, this will level it up a little bit. And the 
the booster. These can't do enough. I don't have a booster that will... Oh, I must build the required launch pad. This requires a large launch pad. And this one has to be researched. Is that because I took the higher... That's 2200. Yeah, I think because I took the upper stage. Let's try the Delta K upper stage, even though it costs more. Yeah, now we have different boosters that we can use. Use the Titan. Seven months, six months. That'll get us there. In six months with 1,575. And that's already a level two. The launch reliability is good there. The payload. So let's see what other contractors will give us. This one will do four months. And but costs more. This one will cost less. But we'll get less attaboys. All right. It'll give us more science, but it'll take longer. It'll cost more, but we'll get more attaboys. Yeah. I definitely want cheaper. Because right now we can't afford it as it is. We only have 783k. In 75k. k Um. Do some public support. Permissions, but you know what? Let's let's go with them. I guess. Uh, um, what do we call this? Sorry, I had one that was called formidable. Um. The, um, I don't know, thing, um, uh, jig, thing in my gig, yeah, whatever. Uh, save that. I guess we'll confirm it. Yeah, we still don't have the money for it, though. That's going to put us even later than we were, but I don't think anyone else is even planning. Is it, I don't think anyone else has the science for it yet, do they? What does the overview say? Oh, well, China's got the... China's got the science for it. Well, we would be second. China's got the science for it, the research for it, but they haven't planned one yet. So that gives us a little bit of a leg up. But I would like to get this and that'll give us... If we get this and we get second place on this, that'll give us the... Uh, um, that'll give us the challenge bonus. Alright, but we need, we need some... We need some scratch to do it. So we're not... We're not building the V... <laughs> The vehicle assembly building this month. Uh, that. All right, eighty-two percent all around. Medium risk, but this will get us some money that we absolutely need. The Emperor. No additional launch reliability. That's fine. All right. Go for it. Five, four, three, two, one. We have lift off.
Hmm. Okay. Very good. Secure launch. Everything levels up a bit more. That's good. Our upper stage is maxed out. And if I auto resolve, yeah, that's going to be successful in one way, shape or another. So let's just do that. And that still hits pretty hard. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure our astronaut on board is liquefied. All right. 1500K we got. Six months. No wonder they have to recuperate for six months. Okay. What do we got here? We can complete it. Phase one of Mars flyby. Soviet Union is, is launching Mars flyby in six months. Complete heat shield analysis. We complete phase one of Mars flyby. So we're, we're still ahead of uh, Pan on that anyway. By a month. That's good. Pan was the first to do an, a Venus impactor though. Um, now we have plenty of money to... Make this vehicle. That's going to take six months. And then uh, let's build our vehicle assembly building. Team up here is where you get the most. Set payload build cost. Is that it? Just 2% payload build cost there. Minus three percent vehicle build cost. Hmm. From being there. Nothing there, nothing there. So the payload would cost less. Three percent less there, and then what would be here? The vehicle would be 3% less here. Well, vehicles are costing a lot more than the payload nowadays. So maybe we should put it down here. 824k to build it there and... Oh, I can't even build it up here. Too much, too much money. Okay. Well, I guess that settles it. Put it right there. How long is that going to take? Eight months? Okay. Fine. Fine and dandy. Um, you see how everybody's lined up there. Mars orbit. What is that? Well, obviously that's going to take Mariner 8. Yeah. And I think we got the most of the... Yeah. Most of the boosters I was going to take that being done is 3,000 science. This one is more than halfway done. That's 3,500. So, yeah, and then we got to do Mariner, Mariner 8 probe, which is going to take another 3,500 science. So, I'm thinking too. The research lab expansion might be a good idea um, sooner rather than later. Also, or the PR office also, well, I'm sorry to hear that, uh, that one guy, 88. Hopefully this will uh, cheer you up a bit, seeing me fail at having a, creating a space program. <laughs> um uh let's see pure office so if i do that i mean that would get us more funding 
I feel like that does that cost 500k. I feel like that's gonna is that how much the building itself cost? I'm not even sure, or is that just how much it costs to even start the research? I think that's how much it costs to even start the research. No, that's the cost of the building. Yeah, 500k, 15k, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is just an expansion. Which actually doesn't cost anything, it's just research. That might be good. And this would be, yeah, because the building itself is going to cost 500k to build. Um, 500k to build. Uh, okay. All right, sorry, I was distracted for a moment. Um, yeah. I don't know. Uh, what I do know is I have gone beyond the half hour. I, I try to keep these two. <laughs> so, oops. Uh, for those who will be watching the recording, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.